What's up, guys, and welcome to another edition of The Sizzle Offshore. In today's episode, our star, Da Sizzle, slays the snakeheads again. Then she's gonna clean up those nasty critters, and I'm gonna cook up some nice fish fingers for you in the fryer. It's gonna be delicious. something what's we got what's we got that's a nice one whoa check that out that was not a, the biggest hit in the world but he did eat it I pointed the rod to him let him set the hook and he just crushed that frog all right check it out first snakehead in the boat Bullseye snakehead. This is an invasive species down here in South Florida. They are in the Broward County canals. They're kind of like restricted to this area, but they were introduced to this system back in the year 2000 and they're thriving. This is an aquarium fish found in a lot of people's aquariums, but check out how pretty they are. All those, those white specks and dots on them. And then they got that bullseye on their tail, which is where they get their name from. But that's a nice one to start the morning, not complaining. Highly invasive species. The FWC doesn't recommend to kill them. You can release them if you want. We're gonna keep them. Stone crab trap bait. Hooked up. Crush that. Closer to the boat too. Woo! Nice. Snakehead in the boat. Choked it. Look at that. First, second snakehead in the boat. As soon as that sun starts to come out, we have a little bit of cloudy conditions today, but as soon as the sun peeks through, it's like they start to chew. So another nice one in the boat. He choked that lure. So much fun catching these things. Letting them eat the, eat the bait a little and then just set the hook as hard as you can. And I don't even, honestly don't even know how this frog is still working because they have been just crushing it. Honestly, this one is super skinny. Just look how skinny he is. Really big head and a really skinny guy. He was hungry. His tail's all messed up there. And another nice one. All right, so he's gonna go into the grizzly cooler. We'll see how many we can catch today. This one really looks like a snake. He's just so skinny. He looks legit like a snake. Look at his head. So wild. All right, no snake heads are being released today. And the cooler he goes. Wanna catch a really big one, see what happens. the weeds and just crushed it nice he freaking choked the frog it's gone oh no there it is nice smallest one of the day and that one hit the hardest and they're right on this corner gotta throw right back over there get another one get out of the weeds In the weeds, in the weeds. Gonna lose him. There he is. Get to the front. What? Whoa, he's colorful. Yeah. Nice one. Oh, wow, he's beautiful. Check out that one. Oh my God. Look at that turtle. He ate a baby turtle. <gasps> 
That's insane. I knew they ate little babies and stuff, but I mean that he legit just puked up a baby turtle and it was just raining. So I'm stripping my rain jacket because I'm so hot. We have a lot of sun showers coming through over here. <laughs> wow, that was insane. And I've also heard too, look at that. Look at that baby turtle. I feel so bad for it. He just ate it recently too. Wow. And I heard too, when they're like really pretty like this, like all, all these colors are lit up on them, that like they're mating. He's super pretty. And he just choked that lure. And I really feel bad for that baby turtle. <laughs> mm, got him! Get out of the weeds, buddy. Slaying snakes. Woo! Nice. Oh, it's popped right off. Straight slaying, that's two fish within five minutes of each other. Straight slaying, going in the grizzly cooler. What do you got? Nice steak. Bass. Nice bass. Woo, that's a nice one. All right guys, while Darcy's throwing up the front, I'm throwing up the back. And I just caught this on a nice uh, gambler Easy swimmer. What, is, what color is that? I don't even know, but I gotta get a new one. Nice. All right, guys, here's that color. I had to replace it because I've been fishing that one all day and caught a bunch, couple of bass on it. This is watermelon color. And the thing about the gamblers, they got this jointed tail. See that joint a lot of other swim baits don't have. I've caught trout on this, uh, snook, all kinds of bass. Connor even caught a uh, clown knife on one of these. So great little paddle tail bait. All right, guys, we picked up Crazy Craig. I want to show you a little trick to get wind knots out of your braid, if you never saw this. Put some chapstick on there. Lubricates it. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. Do this. Hey, time now, Sizzle, do the magic. I'm working on it. Looks like you just make it, you should just pull it, it should come out. Boom, Kaboom, oh, all gone. Look at that. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? You learn something new every day. Yeah. Awesome. It works. It's so windy today. Oh, we're gonna go meet Craig's mom, and then we're gonna give you some gifts, Craig. No, thank you, that'd be really cool. All right. All right, guys, you're hanging out, having a cup of coffee at <laughs> Crazy Craig's. Chilling out. And we have some gifts for him because he takes us fishing all the time on his boat. Yes. And we have some, what do we have for him? And we're just looking forward to going fishing with him again real soon. Yes. Yeah, we're bribing him. All right, so I'm just going to dump it on the table. The best friend to have is a friend with a boat. Remember that. <laughs> Look at this. Just Woo! hooked them up. Man, I got some Smith knives. Yeah. Look at those babies. Oh, those yeah. Those look really nice, you guys. <laughs> Thank you very much. Did you know, you, you see welcome. this one a lot, but Smith actually invented this type of sharpener. Yes. I know you see knockoffs a lot, yeah, but they I invented those. Yeah. They're, the, they're the original ones they made that them. made them that way. Yes. Yeah. I heard they've been around for a long time. Well, I guess yeah. they have, Craig, since 1886. Yes. Wow, that's that's amazing. Yeah. Well, I appreciate <laughs> Diamond it, Diamond sharpener, and that's a hook sharpener. Yeah. It teaches you how to I sharpen hooks. can't wait to catch some fish and clean them up with it. You're <laughs> nice. welcome. You're welcome very much. They just started doing the knives, but as I always say, you love the sharpeners, try the knives. Especially when it's <laughs> left-handed and right-handed. Nice. All right. And of course, thank you very much, you guys. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, go on our website, smithproducts.com. You can get 15% off plus free shipping. Boom. Back at the house, guys, it's time to fillet up the snakehead. And we got quite a few in the grizzly cooler, but I decided to fillet the pretty one that I caught. If you remember him, he's the one that puked up that little baby seat, that little baby turtle, and I'm pretty sure there's nothing in his stomach now, but crazy how he's still super colorful even when he's dead. So that just tells me that this was definitely a breeder fish, like they, that they were maybe had babies, I don't even know. I don't know a ton about these guys. But we're gonna go right into this and start filleting this fish. I also wanted to mention really quick, since his holidays are coming up real fast, fish hook and anchor bracelets. I even sell sterling silver ones like so. Child and adult sizes available. They are unisex, male and female. And also these beautiful sterling silver unisex bracelets as well, tied with these beautiful braid leather, uh, braided leather. And I have a variety of different pendants available. They're all sterling silver. 
beautiful. So please check them out in my store. Once again, don't want to sound like a broken record, but let's get right into this. Super sharp knife using the seven inch Lawaya right behind the pec fin and up angle towards the head. And then you just want to run that knife right along his backbone. And you could just see those scales. I mean, he's just armored up. So you really want this sharp knife. Run it down. Go through the tail area, just like so. And then you're just going to make these long, nice cuts right along the backbone, just like any other fish. Since this guy's such weird, so weirdly shaped, you have to do this at a particular angle. You can see I'm just making these nice long strokes. There's a lot of tiny bones towards the tail end, so you want to kind of keep those on the fish. So you can see I just separated that. And then, there we go. And then right up here by the head, they do have rib cage bones. Now it's interesting on this fish, I've learned after, after filleting quite a few, you kind of just want to go straight out at like a 90 degree angle because all these rib cage, bone, rib cage bones just like stick straight out on either side of them, which is crazy. So you can see how I did that, just straight out. And then just gonna fillet it right off. Boom, quick and easy with a sharp knife. So you can see what I mean right there now that you, you can see that it's off, but you can see how it lays flat on either side. So you just wanna cut straight out and then leave all those, those little bones in there and leave his innards intact. I would open up his stomach, but I'm pretty sure he puked up everything he ate. There was even a dead fish on the boat that we didn't film, but he, he puked up that turtle and that fish. All right, here we go. Same knife. We're just going to take it right under the tail section. And these guys are really slimy too, so you want to make sure you got a good grip. And then just slice it right off. And we are going to cook them a little different this time. I'm excited. You're going to just have to wait for pudding to tell you what we're cooking him or how we're cooking him. And then a little bit of bones here, but I got most of them out. Standard pin bones like every other fish. And there you go. Check out that snow white meat. So pretty. It's so crazy that these fish are here and they taste amazing and I'm excited to cook them a different way tonight. So I'm gonna finish up the other side of this fish. I'm gonna meet you guys in the house for the cooking with pudding portion of this video. Thanks, Tarsil, and a great job filleting those snakeheads again. Uh, we really appreciate it. You do such a great job with those Smith's knives. It's incredible. Uh, welcome again, guys, to another edition of Cooking with Puddin'. Uh, today, I know we're doing snakeheads again. I know. We did them about a month ago. If you're new to the channel, maybe you missed that. Check it out. But uh, we had such a great time doing those snakeheads, and you guys loved it so much, and the video did so great, and uh, it was a little windy out, so we decided to hit those snakeheads again. Darcy loves ripping those lips. Uh, but today, we're going to fry them. We don't do a lot of frying around here because, you know, I'm sure I'm too short for my weight. But today we're going to do a quick fry. We got this nice uh, Hamilton Beach fry we bought a long time ago. And we're doing a real simple, uh, not marinade, but coating on it. So let's get right to it. We got uh, paprika. We got pepper. We got salt. We got some garlic powder. And some flour. Bada bing, bada boom. Knocking it out. We're just going to stir that up real good. You can see right here. I think I'm getting a good shot for you. Boda boom, boda boom. Then we're gonna stir in one egg. Darcy has already mixed up this nice egg. And boop. Now I'm gonna stir that up too. All right, once that's done, you guys know we love our Landshark bigger beer around here. We are going to slowly put that in. Nice and slow so you don't get a ton of fizz. And it's gonna make a pretty light uh, coating. I'm gonna add a little more. I'm just gonna dump it all in. Oh, you can see the consistency of that. It's not real thick. It's you know, it's not like pancake batter. All right, now we're all set to fry. Now we bought this nice electric fry. I used to use the burner and everything. That was really hard to regulate the temperature. We got this on the Amazon store, and of course, you guys know all Darcy's favorite stuff is on the Amazon store. Link in the description below, and you can check out all the lures, the cooking stuff, or anything you want. And also, the holidays are coming up. If you guys use that link to buy anything, even a TV for your wife. Uh, you know, use that link and Darcy gets a little kickback on that, so I really appreciate it. But anyway, let's get the frying. Before you guys got here, I, uh, maybe I can get a little close on the camera here. I uh, cut up these into like nuggets or uh, fingers, chicken fingers, not chicken fingers, fish fingers, snakehead fingers, little snakes. We're going to cook mini snakes today. So they're just salt and pepper and cut up nice. I'm just going to dip them in the batter and right into the fryer. Mm. 
Ooh. Just going to put them all in there at once. And the key to this, or one important topic, is that you want to make the, all these pieces equal size, okay? So they equal size and equal thickness, so they cook more or less the same. And if you do make them different sizes, you know, just cook those separately. Cook the big ones at one time and the little ones another time. And they're basically going to cook until they get golden brown, start floating, any of the above. It only takes two or three minutes. All right, it's been about three minutes. I'm going to take these out. Look at that. Looks good, guys. Now, let me tell you a little secret about frying this fish. And that is you want to put it on this nice rack. Here's some B-roll of it. And this is going to help. This is going to make sure that this is nice and crispy. The oil is just going to fly through this rack. And that can be sitting in some wet paper towels. Oh, this looks good. All right, let's try it to sizzle. Man, this is a treat. We never get fried stuff. <laughs> yeah, especially for me, because she can have fried stuff whenever she wants. We never have it, though. Because uh, I'm fat. <laughs> Not allowed in the house. <laughs> Not allowed in the house. But thanks to you guys for watching our videos, we're allowed to have it. All right, here we go. Yeah, so last night I went out to buy milk. And what did, Darcy, what did you ask me to get also? A bag of chocolate chips. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's so cute. You gotta get to taste testing though first. It's getting cold. Okay. I've already taste tested the hell out of this and it's delicious. It's super good. The batter is actually, it's like perfect. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's just like the perfect fish batter ever. Made with land shark lager. Even better. Mmm. This is really good. We also made some hush puppies, which you're supposed to make with fried fish. And I overcooked those, but. Quite tasty. This is actually better than our other snakehead recipe. Yeah, well, it's In fried. Well, yeah, I guess it's anything delicious. fried is good. <laughs> and just, you know, when you fry stuff, guys, just don't overcook it, and it's gonna be really good. And this particularly uh, applies to when you're gonna be cooking your turkey. If you're a real Floridian from the South, you're gonna be frying that turkey. Peanut oil outside in a big pot. Oh, yeah. Um, so it's real hard to, uh, you know, control your temperature that way, but just try not to overcook it, because that's, you know, you can overcook it real fast too. Mm -hmm. But this is delicious. Snakehead uh, is a white meat, as you saw. It's like medium firm. This is perfect. It's really good. I think it's I'm a sure. perfect fish for frying. He did a really great job. It's excellent. Excellent. And we fried it in that peanut oil, which I think made it even better. Yeah. Peanut oil tastes a little bit lighter than the canola. Yeah. I think, mm. the, I think they actually recommend for you to use vegetable oil when you cook fish, but the peanut oil seemed to do the job for us today. Oh, so. it's so good. It's so moist. Just don't overcook it. That's it. Excellent job. Excellent job. Another awesome Catch Clean Cook video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And comment below if you ever tried some of our cooking recipes. A lot of you guys have been messaging me on Instagram. Follow me there if you don't, about all of our awesome recipes and even sending me pictures of the fish that they're cooking with our recipes, which is pretty sweet. Um, so check it out. And thank you guys so much for watching. Until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.